What happened was I developed a lot of tooth pain um, in the back of my mouth and I didn't know what to do. So I talked to family members and they suggested that I see someone who they were seeing. So I ended up t going to see a dentist and the first consultation seemed okay and I was told to come back within two days and they would take care of the issue and they gave me antibiotics to start and I had a severe infection and I thought it was just going to be something that was routine and was going to just be able to um, get recovery fast. And what happened was I went to see this person who claimed to be a specialist and was told right away that the tooth that had the infection needed to be extracted, which was a big surprise because I wasn't quite prepared that I would need an extraction. And then also he said, don't worry, um, we'll put in a mini implant. And mini implants are the best thing right now in the market. Um, it's going to be inexpensive, it's going to be um, very fast, and don't worry, we can take out a line of credit for you if you don't have the money. And what happened is that he gave me a quote, and I was just surprised with the quote. It was multiple thousands of dollars, it was well over $10,000, and he claimed, don't worry, we'll do the extraction, we can put the mini implant in, um, we'll just quickly take out a line of credit. So he went on his computer took out the line of credit and maxed me out right away with the line of credit. And so I was in so much pain that I just said, do whatever you need to do, kind of really being naive. Now looking back and having the knowledge that I have now, now I know how important it is to be knowledgeable and really question what the dentist is doing so that I could be aware and have multiple options. But I chose not to ask any questions because I really believe that this person was doing the best thing for me. And what ended up happening is that the tooth was extracted, a mini implant was put in, I felt better, um, and then I realized a couple weeks later that I was not able to clean around the area, that the infection had subsided, but I was beginning to have a foul taste in my mouth. Um, just my gums didn't seem healthy around the mini implant and this happened quite fast. Um, I ignored it, I just thought, oh it's part of the process, the healing process. Um, I went back in, he did a check, um, this doctor, the original dentist that I saw, said don't worry about it, it looks fine, if anything we'll, we'll do a little tweaking if need be. Well what happened a few months later was a raging infection, a huge abscess, and it was due to the fact that I wasn't able to clean around the mini implant. And what happened was that I was losing bone tissue from the infection and I developed a huge abscess the size of almost like a grapefruit on the side of my mouth. I was in desperate and dire need to see a specialist, someone that knew what they were doing. I did not have any trust, I actually lost trust in the dentist that I chose to go to initially because I was just met with, it's okay, don't worry, we can take care of it, but was really never given the care that I wanted or deserved. So I was given the recommendation to come to see Dr. Farber, didn't know who he was, didn't even know there was a difference between a mini implant and a standard implant. And immediately when I came to see Dr. Farber, I was met with a ton of knowledge. He told me exactly what was going on. He showed me the difference between a mini and he showed me what the standard looks like and then went over the pros and cons of both. And the big difference is, is that there really is, the cost difference is, is not that advantageous going with the minis. And long term, the standard is by far much better because I'm not going to have that risk of the mini failing and coming back. With the standard, I'm, what Dr. Farber had said is that it lasts a very long time and rarely do they have complications. So I definitely was so excited to be in Dr. Farber's hands where feel like he's the expert and he gave me the best care possible. So the days following I was able to come in, um, Dr. Farber took the mini implant out, he did bone grafting on me and then we waited a few months. Um, I was able to heal faster than anticipated. Um, my bone was building up and then Dr. Farber then went ahead and advanced with the standard implant. And I haven't had any problems since and I've been extremely, extremely happy. Well, being a single mom and living on a restricted budget is difficult. And walking into the, um, a dentist office where they claim to be an expert and they're going to help me and giving me this line of credit, I, it was the only option I thought that I had. And so, of course, I took it, but then at the end, um, I realized that it put me back. 
I was faced with a tremendous amount of debt. I still needed to pay off the credit card. And not only that, due to the infection, I had to take a lot of time off of work and I'll, I had a lot of suffering due to the infection. And one of the big things that I know now is that knowledge is definitely power and knowing the big differences between a standard and a mini implant. And what's um, quite scary for me, being a single mom, is I see so many different commercials, I see so many different advertisements for the mini implants, and it's attractive to anyone who is on a fixed income, not only a single mom, but someone who may be on a fixed income. And the big highlights of minis they, that they claim are that it's less time and it's less money. But the reality is, is that it's actually more time if, if they fail, and also it's um, more time and suffering as well. And coming to Dr. Farber, I feel that I actually paid less getting the standard implant over the long run because I had to go back and get everything redone, which took a lot of time and energy away from my family as well as our financial resources. And if I would have known um, what my options were initially, I feel like I would have had a better outcome faster. Oh, recommend mini implants? Absolutely no, oh, no way. You know, and I've had lots of people tell me that they're going to get a mini implant and I actually stop them and say, no, 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 no. Do you know anything about mini implants? And most people don't really know the difference between mini implants or a standard implant. And it's crazy because um, there's so much advertising going on right now about mini implants and it's, um, it's, it's very appealing if you don't know the information or the knowledge behind minis versus the standard implant. So it's almost like a little teaser, but knowing the difference is very critical and key in not only your health right now, but long-term health because your teeth are extremely important. Buffalo Dental Implant, make the choice that's right for you. Call 882-3777 today.